All right. Today I'm going to talk to you about a single leg squat. You've seen me do a couple other videos about core training, and here is another one. Single leg squat is a super important exercise to activate the base of your core, which is your pelvis. The core goes from the pelvis all the way up to the cervical spine, and without proper core activation, including the base, namely the glutes, you're going to have a lot of compensations, problems with the lower back, all the way up to the neck and even down towards the ankle. Let's get into it. As I've already stated, the core is the backbone to everything. So this single leg squat is a great way to activate. If you do the supine hip bridge, if you do the prone ISO ab, also known as the plank in my other videos, and you do the single leg hip bridge, you're gonna activate your core and it's gonna up your strength for every single exercise you do, whether it's a barbell squat, deadlift, lunge, it's going to help fix compensations and get you on the right track towards uh, just getting absolutely fucking huge. So check it out. So here you want to keep your stomach engaged, pull your navel in towards your spine to activate your core. Your head stays directly in line with your torso, so your chin is tucked in and you actually look towards the ground to keep your cervical spine neutral. Drive up through the heel, sucking the knee in up towards the quads, driving that hip forward in a posteriorly tilted position. As you can see, the knee draws up as the hips drive forward, creating that cross hatch right at the midline, bam and that power drives right through the glutes and that posterior tilt gets that core activation and gets those glutes firing. So that knee is directly over the second toe, staying in line, not wavering, driving through the heel, stomach always engaged. Beautiful form, blood. It looks fantastic. And the foot stays right next to the left, for example, uh, just in case there's a balance issue. With this type of activation, the stomach drawn in, you're activating your transverse abdominis, you're activating all those core stabilizer muscles of the hip, and then driving up through the heel. What this is gonna do is gonna activate the gluteus maximus and the medius, because first off, with the single leg, it's open chain. So you're gonna have to have lateral stability, rotational stability, as well as sagittal plane stability. And this is a really important aspect of the core, because as you know, your body moves in three planes of motion, sagittal, frontal, and transverse. When you do an open chain exercise, such as a single leg hip bridge, or for example, you're doing a single leg squat, as in this case, you are taking the body and you are exposing it to those multiple planes of motion and you are challenging it to keep your body in one position. A stabilization exercise is an exercise where the body has to be proprioceptively advanced and controlled. So you're controlling your body in space. You are maintaining your body position relative to objects around. So this is not just something where you hop on a Smith machine or any kind of machine at the gym and you just push. This is something where you're teaching your body from the core, from the inside out to stabilize and maintain its place in space. One of the things to understand with the single leg squat is that it's an all levels exercise. Now you're going to see a lot of knees going in. You're going to see a lot of fluctuation with the thigh just because of uh, the impracticality or the lack of use in a lot of people. So for yourself or if you're training a client, the single leg squat is going to be a challenge just to perform even just from the start. So understand that just because someone is not efficient with the single leg squat doesn't mean that they are just a mess. It could just be the coordination. So make sure that you take your time. Don't have to go all the way down. Make sure that your shin is staying in line with the upper torso. You're not leaning forward too far. Make sure the knee is staying over the second toe. It's not dropping in too much or out too much. But give the client or give yourself some time just to get used to the exercise and being used to be on one leg. Another concept, another thing to think about is to keep your other foot the one that's off the ground, not the stance leg, keep it about maybe a couple inches off the ground. That way you can adjust and you can kind of tap the ground, engage yourself and balance yourself if you get stuck or if you start falling out of place. Keeping it up too high or kicking it too far back will bring you too much into a forward lean, will take stress off the stance leg, which is what you want. You want the body to be activating that stance leg glute and uh, make sure you keep that foot closed that way. Instead of flopping over completely, you will actually just kind of tap and regain balance. And as you get stronger and get better, 
you'll have to tap less.